Thank you, folks. Do appreciate you stopping by here today. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the things we do around here, well, um, we take one for the team, right? Um, test things out, see that things work well, and when they do, we let you know. And when they don't, we let you know. That's what we're here to do. So uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead, please. Subscribe right now and ring the bell. Um, as a matter of fact, this episode is going to kind of be broken up into two parts, so you really do want to uh, ring that bell so that when the second part of this shows up, uh, you'll be notified. You know, and uh, otherwise, you know, it may get lost in the bit bucket and not know about it. So today is part one, and um, in a few weeks, we'll do part two. Let me show you. T today's going to be a, a little bit more on the serious side. Is that okay? Can I do that? Hang on. We're going to talk about prophylactics. Yeah, there's been a lot of that going around lately. Um Wear a mask because it'll help fight the flu or at least keep you from spreading the flu or getting the flu. And, but I, but I'm, I think I'm also um, as concerned with um, non-virus type of threats. Uh, the world has been a crazy place. It's always been a crazy place. Um, Ever since the fall in the Garden of Eden, things have gone sideways, and they just continue to go more and more sideways as we get more and more people, and you know, we find out that um, everyone's got their own truth instead of the one actual truth that we all point towards. Everyone's pointing to their own truth, and uh, man, that's just chaos. That's chaos. Man has always done that, but now because, like I say, there's more people running around. There's more little truths that are running around. It's crazy. So how do we protect ourselves? Uh, now, some of you may not even be thinking about this uh, because you live in an area where there isn't a whole lot of um, threat physically to you, kind of like some of the footage we saw. But I always think in terms of how can I better protect myself? So, I do want to talk about body armor. Um, before we go any further with this though, uh, maybe we ought to get to the specs. This is a medium sized vest and it weighs in just a little over five pounds. Pretty lightweight. It's actually in two halves. Comes apart very easily. There's the front half. And on the back here, There you go. Very pliable. The back panel is the same way. That's where your protective soft armor is inside. On the front side, there's another pouch where you can put your um, other plates inside. And the same thing on the back. There's another flap where you can put more body armor inside of there. Every single one of these is quality inspected and assuring that they were put together well before they get to you. The Velcro makes this very simple to get your uh, vest on and off, plus adjust it so that it has a nice snug fit. The ballistic nylon on these things are top notch. What's nice about this modular front and back kind of configuration, if God forbid something does happen and you needed to use it and say the front takes an impact, the back will still be good. You just order yourself a new front panel and you're good to go. Probably one of the most reasonably priced pieces of body armor. $2.99, as you see it here, it's 3A compliant, which means it can take any handgun round up to 44 Magnum. What's really nice about this is when properly fitted, it provides side protection all the way around the cummerbund area. No additional paneling necessary. It comes in a bunch of different sizes, extra small, small, this one's a medium, large, extra large, 2XL, and 4XL for you real big guys. You know what I just noticed? You can put a reader rest right here on the uh, flap and it works just perfectly. Get yourself a reader rest too. And it still holds your wrench. You know, I will say it is very comfortable on. I've worn this thing all day while shooting this video and uh, it's not uncomfortable at all. As a matter of fact, it's actually helpful uh, you wear it nice and snug and when you're lifting things and moving around um, 
it actually helps with that. It kind of holds everything together. Plus it doesn't bind underneath here. There's plenty of room. Um, a little bit forward motion, a little restrictive, but not bad. It's still because it's very flexible. You know, you get it working and I think I'll make this a regular part of my wardrobe. You can even use it while washing the dishes. Now the guys over at uh, Bullet Safe, Tom Nardone, he and I hooked up at uh, SHOT Show and uh, we've been in touch with, with each other ever since we had a chance to meet. Cool guy. The soft armor is uh, uh, rated 3A, so any, uh, any pistol round uh, right up to a 44 Magnum um, can be stopped. Uh, now I've got some body armor coming in for an upcoming episode like I alluded to and uh, we're gonna shoot it. Now I didn't want to shoot this one because this is my personal rig and um, I didn't want to you know damage it by testing so he's gonna send me one. So we got something coming and we're gonna we're gonna shoot it and try it out and take a look at it. Um, he's done a pretty good job, extensive job and he's asked us to uh, do an extensive job uh, testing this but I'm just gonna give you my my opinion on this the thing is super lightweight um, very lightweight the panels in front and back um, uh, curve to your body really really well I kind of like that and um, all velcro you could slip a jacket over this and um, you couldn't even really tell that you've got it on and then to get it off you know velcro off or you know just slip out of it it does pretty well. Uh, stab proof. And we'll test that too. We'll show you that. But uh, as I was saying before, I, I'm kind of wondering, is this going to be the kind of rig we're going to need to wear if we're going downtown where there are crowds of people? Now, I, I don't necessarily like crowds of people. That's not my thing. Um, I almost try to avoid that if I possibly can just because my personality is not one that I just love to dive into a bunch of people and uh, now f family and very close friends that's a totally different thing but to mingle with a bunch of strangers when people are pressed in um, it's not my thing but if I find that I must do it for some reason maybe something out of my control or maybe um, maybe some of you have to uh, be in a crowd of people y you, you might consider something like this now I know um, security folks um, people that serve papers um, uh, certainly the police and um, uh, people that are at a high risk security wise you know, they're all wearing body armor. But something like this, uh, for $299, it is the least expensive option that I could find um, that'll stop a handgun bullet. And with a little extra money, um, this, it's gonna get loud. This pouch here, you could slip in a level three plate. So I think uh, the combination of that your your vital organs right here will be protected um, from rifle fire if necessary. Uh, that's going to add a little bit of weight. I think the front panel and the back panel are about 3.3 pounds, almost three and a half pounds each. So that's another six pounds added. Um, but I think that would be worth it if I found myself in a situation where I may be taking some rifle fire. But for for most people that are uh, close to other people and they are maybe a, in a little bit of a threat-like environment, uh, pistols are kind of what are being used, and this will certainly stop it. So, you know, why am I bringing all this up? Um, like I said, I you know things are get, getting kind of weird, and um, you know, no, I'm not going to go you know, to downtown Waco, where I'm very close to. I'm not gonna be wearing this in downtown Waco, no. But if I find that I must be in an area where there's some protesting going on, or, you know, I've got to get someplace, 
and I've got to go through that or I've got to get out of my car and I've got to walk to the bank or I got to walk to something and there are crowds of people if I cannot avoid it um, this may be the option uh, if you are a security officer uh, if you're a police officer if you're a volunteer if you're a private investigator if you're any of those kinds of things where you have yourself in a in a in a high threat environment uh, and you got to pay for your own stuff um, this may be the answer for you okay so leave me a comment down below okay uh, ask me some questions about this I'll be happy to answer them if you have any and uh, I'll do the best I can to give you what I know if you have some experience with body armor I'd love to hear what that experience is and um, if, certainly if you've had to um, take on fire while wearing body armor what's it like because I've never had that happen to me thank God and I pray that it never happens but I'd like to know um, and again we're gonna do some testing and uh, some of the things I have seen I, I bet you it hurts I'm sure it does and I've talked to a few people that have been in military that have taken fire and uh, it hurts so I'd like to know all right, the guys over at Bullet Safe are cool guys. I'm going to leave, leave a link down below. If you're interested in taking a look at some of their products, please do. Uh, use my link down below. Um, they're not paying me to make this uh, video for them. Um, I'm doing this because I'm testing these things and I want to bring the test results to you so I don't get paid. Um, but if you use an affiliate link down below and you purchase something, then I do get uh, a, a little bit of a commission for that purchase and it doesn't cost you a penny more. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, well, I have this 50 cal Desert Eagle. I'm going to shoot it into our bulletproof vest, and we'll see how it does. And the next couple of weeks, I should have some more things that we can uh, test. I've got to get out to the range. It's, very, it's been really stormy. Uh, we're right in the middle of hurricane season, and I think it's Hurricane Beta. But it's been kind of rainy, a lot of wet, a lot of water, rain, puddles of water. <laughs> uh, so getting to the range, you know, you got to slosh around a lot. So... We're going to wait for it to clear up a little bit, and then we'll go out and test one of these out. All right, guys. That's all I have. Um, again, if you got questions, let me know. I hope this is of interest to you. If so, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, would you? Um, and if you have some comments you want to make, maybe you think I'm a nut job, thinking that uh, maybe body armor may be the next thing we need to use as a prophylactic to, uh, for our health. And masks for uh, the flu and body armor for the bullet. Am I a nut or am I just trying to be careful? Um, I think I'm being a good steward of myself and of my family because uh, we all have body armor because you never know. That's how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? All right, I'm gonna take off. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless you.